Hello everybody and welcome back to Sly 2 Band of Thieves. I hope you liked the new intro. Uh, I made it after I recorded the, uh, the first episode, so, uh, the prologue, so. Yeah, um, a few things. Um, I am using my PS2 Slim this time. Um, before I used my original PS2, the big bulky one. Uh, and I noticed there was, like, a choppiness, like, uh, like the, um, like, characters would be, like, blurry when they moved in, like, cutscenes and stuff like that. I want to see if using a newer PS2 fixes that, so we'll find that out right away, but here we are with the Black Chateau. Uh, I'm going to be doing this whole, uh, level in one session, um, well, I'm going to try anyway, and... One thing I do want to say is, I will not be collecting the bottles right now. After I start Sly 4, I may come back to Sly 2 and do all the bottles. I'll collect them as I see them, but for right now, I'm just going to focus mainly on the story. So let's get into it. I had to call in a few favors to get the goods in the Claw Gang's local operator. Dimitri, a sort of underworld celebrity, equally at home in high-class art circles and shady back-alley crimes. He was once a passionate young art student who worked hard to develop his own visionary style. Unfortunately, the art world wasn't quite ready for his kinetic aesthetic. So he gave them what they wanted, and started forging old masterpieces. His way of punishing those with bad taste. Dimitri now runs a nightclub on the west side. The thumpy music, colorful light shows, and a hint of danger lure in chic young patrons from far and wide. And it's here, hidden somewhere, where we'll find the clockwork tail feathers. What Dimitri plans to do with the clockwork part is beyond me. But those plans end tonight. Sly Cooper and the gang in the Black Chateau. Uh, while watching the cutscene, I did see there was a little bit of choppiness. So, um, yeah, using the newer PS2 didn't work. So, um,. I'm sorry, um, it doesn't, it doesn't do that for Digimon, I don't know why it does it for Sly Cooper, and it didn't in the older Sly Coopers, like the older Sly Cooper videos, I don't know, I just don't know, I guess it decides to do it when it wants to, but uh, into the safe house, and uh, let's start. <laughs> I tell you, Bentley, it's going to be a real pleasure robbing this nightclub. I share in your enthusiasm, but before we hit the inside, we'll need to do a little reconnaissance work. What do you have in mind? I've installed this special antenna on the safe house to help with our first job, hacking into Dimitri's satellite array. The coordinates for the job start beacon have been uploaded to your binoculars. Make your way to this position, and I'll give you a full briefing on our objective. I'm on my way. See, that's one of the main things I like about Sly 2, is the whole, um... Uh, the whole reconnaissance... thing. Sly, if you click the L3 button, you know, press the left analog stick, I'll beam some virtual markers into your feedback. They'll help you find your way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, I'm going to collect them as I see them, and then uh, I know they make sounds, but I'm not going to look for them right away. I will do them eventually, just to let you know that. Sly, I need you to hack into Dimitri's communication array so that we'll have access to his database. 
How am I supposed to do that? To start, you'll need to get to the top of that tower. Then, reposition the satellite dish to point at my safe house antenna. If you want to climb on stuff, jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Try climbing up that pipe. Right. Jump and press the circle button to climb pipes. I'm on it. Alright, so as you can see, Sly does appear as I move like that to be choppy a bit. Um, I do apologize for that, but ooh. We haven't been taught this yet, but I'm gonna do it. Pickpocket. Pickpocket. Uh, bronze comb. Nice. Alright, so let's head up here. Oh, you didn't see anything! And yes, I do know the bottles make clanking noise. I do know that. So they are a lot easier to find. But, like I said, I'm not going to do it. It's not my main objective at the moment. Oh, there's one. Shut up, Bentley. Fly, you can hold down the R1 button while what do you think I'm doing? Break into a fast run, but be careful, as this is sure to be loud enough to alert any guards in the vicinity. Data just flowing in, literally. Dun, 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 dun. Nice work, Sly. I'm downloading from Dimitri's mainframe as we speak. All in a night's work. So, where do we go from here? Your next job is to break into the nightclub and take some reconnaissance photos of the clockwork tail feathers. To get inside, you'll have to sneak through an old wine cellar beneath town. Okay, I'll head out for the cellar. Um, this isn't gonna be like I did with uh, Sly Cooper and the Thieves Raccoonus. It's not gonna have, like... Every episode will have <laughs> Lay Hotel. Every episode won't be like a mission. It's gonna be 15 minute long videos, maybe sometimes a little bit longer. Uh, I will never start a mission in an episode and not finish it. So um, they may be longer, but that's only so I can finish a mission. So it's like if this mission ends in like 10 minutes from now. That would be an 18 minute video, not like 5 minutes in the last 3 minutes in the next episode, so. Just to let you know the laydown of how slide 2 is going to go. And the prologue was one big thing, so that had to be one video. Murray. Good to see you, little buddy. I guess the way through the wine cellar is guarded by those rats. Bentley thought you might like some help clearing them out. Sounds like fun. You and me, back to back. Totally. Outnumbered. Fighting impossible odds is perfect. All right, pal. Let's get to it. I feel like Murray's voice actor changes every game, too. I don't know. <laughs> don't even care. Just come in and start whooping everybody. My God, Murray. Dude, leave some for Leave some for me next time, my god. To get over this thing, you'll have to double jump. Hit the X button to jump. Then, while in the air, press it again to get some extra air time. <sighs> Looks like you're on your own from here. Eh, I'm used to it. Thanks for the help. Anytime, partner. You know, it's not like you can't just like move like a barrel over or something. Later, Murray. Why? In order to get past these lasers, you need to crawl under that table. To do that, 
get near the table and press the circle button. These flashlight guards are too tough to fight head on. Crawl under the tables to sneak around him. I don't think anybody noticed that, do you? I'm here to fix your stuff! Well, I'm breaking it. Alright, uh, no, that's enough of that. Let's, um... I know I'm not supposed to do that, like, I'm supposed to... I know I'm supposed to sneak to shut down still. Those yellow lasers, you'll need to take out that guard. Sneak up behind him and press the triangle button to knock him into the That sneak attack slam move only works on guards who haven't seen you. Wait until this guy turns his back and then let him have it. Oh god. <laughs> I just throw him into lasers. He's like, Urgh. can I get a? That's cool. Still works from the first game. I still, I can still walk on this even though it's broken. That's beautiful. If you get in a fight with those rats, the sneak attack won't work. It's purely a stealth move. Then I won't get into a fight. Ah, air vent. By the angle. I don't even let him finish. Dun. I like these photo taking ones. Jackpot! The heart of Dimitri's operation. Head for those windows and take some reconnaissance photos. Tap the R3 button, you know, click the right analog stick, to bring up your binocucom. It's already outfitted with a spy cam. Sly, use the right analog stick to zoom in and out on photo targets. Tap the R1 button to take a picture when you've got a good shot. Oh my god, just let me take pictures already. That generator seems to be powering the security systems down here. What does it say? Attention, please do not blow up Jenner. <laughs> uh. Ingenious. Dimitri's using the clockwork tail feathers as printing plates. Given their rare alloy, they'll never wear out. Unlimited forged money. <sighs> that fiend. Uh, I'm gonna cut the video right now because uh, I do believe there's gonna be some a cutscene after all of this and I want to close out AMCAP because I don't want it to shut off on me so I'll be right back guys alright everybody uh, I'm back and we're gonna it only took a quick second that's our target Dimitri professional lounge lizard and international fortune that's great that it, Sly. head back to the safe house and we'll cook up a plan of attack all right, on my way. Dum -bum -ba -dum -bum. And there's probably going to be a yeah. There's a slideshow. I'll shut up because Bentley's going to talk. The recon photos are a grim reminder of what the modern thief is up against. Spotlights, stepped-up patrols. The sum of it all renders a direct assault impossible. To solve this puzzle, I'm going to need some more intelligence. First, replace this bugged painting with one Dimitri has in his office. Once in place, we should be able to listen in on his communications. Second, if you see the boss, tail him. We might learn something from studying his movements. Once we've got a proper understanding of the operation, those clockwork tail feathers are as good as ours. All right. Let's see who we're going to play as next. I guess it's just slime. Well, let's gonna 
the first time um it said connect to thiefnet i literally thought i needed the internet to do this so we just sold our bronze cone that we took and uh, let's go Alright, um, I see a bottle over there, and we're gonna bug Dimitri's, um, office first, because I like kind of doing this stuff in order, like how you should do it, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna do that, so, thank you very much for watching, I'm gonna most likely complete Dimitri's level tonight, so, I will see you in the next episode, have a good day everyone.